Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sham Story Time. My name is Shamla, and I'm a passionate storyteller. Today, we will listen to the next episode in King Vikramaditya series. I hope you've all been listening to all the stories there and enjoying all of them. Oh, Jaraja woke up today and walked straight to the chambers where King Vikramaditya's throne was kept. Very quickly, he started to climb the steps. The moment his foot was on the 20th step, the puppet there stopped him. It just came alive and said, My name is Karunakaravalli. Do you know what sort of a person King Vikramaditya was? Are you worthy enough to sit on his throne? It asked him. Boja Raja smiled at the puppet and said, Please tell me the story of Vikramaditya. I am waiting to hear. Karunakaravalli, the puppet, said, Today I am going to tell you the story of Navamohini Manjari. And it started. We all know that Vikramaditya had many spies going around different directions from his kingdom. One day, a spy came back and told the king something very strange. The spy informed Vikramaditya that there was a king whose name was Soma Pratapa. He was ruling over a kingdom called Makarapuri. He does a lot of charity and social services every day. It turns out that this king was also doing something very strange. And what was it? He would request many maidens to come and plates full of corals and pearls and other precious gems and one more set of maidens carrying food. And he would order them all to go to the northeastern part of his state and empty all the plates on the ground and come back. This was very strange, is it not? So the spy waited there to see what is happening to all that which is emptied. Turns out so many ghosts came at night and ate up all the food that they had kept on the ground. They also picked up all the jewels, the precious gems and everything and climbed to that banyan tree. Now Vikramaditya asked the spy, did you go up the tree and find out what happened after? The spy said, no, I dare not do that. I was very scared. I came back to tell you what's been happening. Oh, Vikramaditya was egged with the curiosity to know what lies up there in the tree. So when it was time for him to leave the country and go to the forest, he went straight to Makarapuri. He reached the northeastern part of the state and as his spies told him, he saw many maidens coming and keeping plates and plates full of precious gems and another set of maidens keeping food. As was expected at night, so many ghosts came and ate up all the food, picked up all the jewelry and precious gems. They climbed the banyan tree. Vikramaditya decided he would go and find out what happens behind it. Quickly, he climbed the banyan tree. There were hundreds of ghosts. Some of them tried to fight him. Some of them tried to push Vikramaditya down the tree. Vikramaditya pulled out his sword. He slashed all of them and kept climbing up. It was a huge tree. When he went to the topmost branch, he noticed that there was a palace indeed that was hanging up in the air just above the tree. Vikramaditya did not waste even one moment. We know about him, right? He's such a curious person. He wanted to know who lived in this palace, what was happening there and all that. He entered the palace. There were not any people there, but the entire palace was decked up with all the jewelry and gems that the ghosts have been bringing. They were all studded around the palace. Vikramaditya noticed that. Then he entered into one of the main chambers. It had a huge bed and this chamber was also heavily decorated. Turns out that this palace belonged to a lady whose name was Navamohini Manjari. Vikramaditya picked up a lot of fruits and other things that were lying around. He ate it up. He lied down on a big pot that was there, spongy, floppy pillows. He lied down and he waited. After a while, this lady, Navamohini Manjari, entered this chamber and she was aghast, looking at somebody in her own room. She asked, who are you? How did you come here? Vikramaditya simply said, I just wanted to find out what's happening in this palace that is hanging up in the air. That's why I came. She commanded so many of the ghosts. They were like the soldiers that she had and asked all of them to fight Vikramaditya. Vikramaditya fought with any number of ghosts that kept coming and he killed all of them. 
Nava Mohini Manjuri was shocked to see such a valiant person. She had never seen somebody like this in her whole life. Whoever came inside were killed instantly by her ghost. But here was a man who is alive and he is fighting all her ghosts and all her ghosts are dead as well. Then she asked, I would like to know who you really are. I know you're not a common man. Please tell me, she asked. Vikramaditya told her everything about him. He was the king of Ujjain and he was King Vikramaditya and all that. She was very happy and she decided to come with Vikramaditya to the kingdom of Ujjain. So he brought her and while they came back, they also brought all the jewelry, the precious gems that she had been taking from the earlier king. Remember the king of Makarapuri? They brought all of them. Then Vikramaditya asked her, what is the thing behind that king of Makarapuri? Why was he feeling so obliged to her and offering her all these jewelry and food every day? Now, Nava Mohini Manjari told him that there was once a fight after which she struck a deal with this king that he had to send all these to feed her ghosts in the palace. Now that all are gone, she came back to Ujjain and lived happily in the palace of King Vikramaditya. The puppet stopped the story here and asked Bojaraja, would you have done something like this? After having known all the misdeeds that she has been doing, Vikramaditya still had a soft corner for her and he brought her all the way to his kingdom. Would you have done that? He asked. Bojaraja said, of course not. That is why this throne has been occupied by Vikramaditya, somebody as great as him and not me. He walked back to his chambers. Did he come back the next day? Of course he did. Wait for the next episode to know that story. Did you all like today's story? If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sham Story Time. You will have access to all the stories that I upload. Every week, you get to hear two stories. My name is Shamala and I'm a passionate storyteller. I will meet you in the next episode. Bye-bye.